<laughs> hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hello, hello. Let me see, make sure there's recording here on YouTube. I mean, on Facebook. Make sure it's... Make sure it's on the English channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just uploaded the Spanish one onto the English channel. Anyway. Hey, everybody. We're we Cesar and Pam with CesarandPam.com. And we want to help you live your life without losing your soul, your family, or your health in the process. Um, I, <laughs> I have been guilty of that many times, of not paying enough attention to one area of my life. And... Um, the Bible says, what shall, what shall it profit a man to win the whole, gain the whole world and lose his soul? So we want to help you how do that. And today we're going to talk about, my promo video was, this apple is oxidizing. Is that say Oxidizing. See, it had a little bump and then I cut a little open here with a open, I opened it up with a knife. And look how much it's already oxidizing just in about an hour and a half. Why does this happen? And most importantly, why is that happening to your body? Did you know you're dying? The second law of thermodynamics, the law of entropy, says that everything is moving from order to disorder. That's why things oxidize. That's why this metal that I found in my garage, check it out, I got some water in it, now it's oxidizing. Well, that has happened to our bodies. Since that law entered the universe when Adam and Eve disobeyed, now we all live with those consequences. So what can we do so that that doesn't happen to you? Number one, what causes oxidation in your body? What is, let's talk about what we don't want. You don't want to get older faster. You don't want to have low energy and you don't want to die sooner, right? You want to live longer with lots of energy and be and feel and look as young as you can possibly do it. Okay, so who's your enemy? Free radicals are your enemy. Um, let me to interrupt me when, whenever I'm looking for, for uh, information. So what, what are free radicals? So you have the atom, inside you have protons and neutrons, and outside of the atom you have the electrons, right? That's what sustains everything in the world is the atomic structure, right? The particle. So what happens when you have a, electrons move in pairs. So when one of them is a freak accident, a mutation, is looking for another atom, proton to pair up with. Proton is a positive, yeah. So when they can find one, they will find existing um, atoms to disrupt and find a pair, and that destroys the cells in your body. That's what causes disease, uh, injury, and eventually death. So what you need to do is like, we have this fire causing this oxidation in your body, right? And we need to find water to pour over it to slow down that process as much as possible. Pam, say something, because I got to look for the next thing. I always like to talk about the solution, not the problem. So that's okay, okay. to you right <laughs> now. Right. So the first five minutes, I'm going to talk about the problem. The second five minutes, I'm going to talk about the solution in general. In the last five minutes, we're going to give you a practical uh, plan that you can put into action with you, so you can implement everything we're going to share with you today. So, all right. So oxidation happens uh, just by living, okay? just by breathing, just by your metabolism. By also by eating dead food. What's dead food? Food that's not living. I mean, you think if you had your own garden and you were picking your vegetables, those are living foods. Um, everything that's processed, all the crackers and cookies and chips and breads that are made with refined flowers. Mm -hmm. Lots of foods are dead. Also toxins. If you're around people who smoke, just the pollution in the envi environment where you live. And I just read today that in the U.S. we have the deadest soil in the world. Why? Because it's used so much. So they plant something and then they don't let it rest. They, can, they keep on continuously planting the same thing. Before you used to have crop rotation where the ground will replenish its own minerals. But now that's not happening. And then you have herbicides, pesticides, uh, chemicals to enhance the food. Have you seen a lot of fruit that looks amazing when you taste it? tastes terrible. It's because it's been enhanced, genetically modified. Well, all that means that you can't get all the nutrients that you need, which is from just from your diet. And that is the answer, the practical answer, right? But before I continue on, what we're going to share with you, there's no magic pill. There's no magic formula. It's a combination of factors. That's what we talked about before. 
You need to learn to drink water. 